All right, how y'all doing today? So today I'm gonna to show y'all how to turn a regular plastic drum into a water container. Now I started this little project because I was looking into going into my own pressure washing business. Uh, so I was like, man, what's the most cost efficient way that I can be able to get a water barrel instead of spending $100 plus on one? So I went to Facebook Market and other little places to actually look for the water container, uh, well, for the plastic drum. and. A lot of people had different prices, but they were you know, a little far out for me to drive. So I had someone tell me about a local place where they just throw them away. And I was like, really? So let me go over there and go check them out. I got there, there were plastic containers galore. So I grabbed a few and I said, you know what, for this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and record it and show you guys, cause I'm sure somebody else probably wanna use it for probably catching rainwater or maybe doing the same thing. Uh, so let me show y'all some of the products that we're gonna use today, okay? All right, so here's our water drum here. Uh, any size would do. You would also need a power drill. Uh, I got that from Walmart a while back. And this is my PVC three fourths pipe valve. You're gonna need some string. This is your three quarter bulkhead union there with reverse threading. You will need a multi-material hole saw. And for this purpose with that bulkhead fitting, one and a half inch will really work for it. A pair of needle nose pliers, just in case when you cut that hole that the bulkhead can't fit through. And also just to even out and shave down some of the plastic after cutting. All right, so now that y'all seen all the things that we're gonna be using to make this drum into a water container, now let's go ahead and dive right in and I'll give y'all a play-by-play -play of how we're gonna make this happen, okay? So come on and join me. All right, to start off, it is a closed top plastic drum. So with this, since I don't have any access to the top, I just wanna make sure that the hole that I do cut is even and equal to the hole at the top that I'll be inserting the bulkhead fitting and also putting the water into. So that's why I'm just making sure that everything lines up. That's when you go ahead and attach your hole saw to your power drill. Make sure you have it in there really tight and good. All right, and now you're ready to make your hole. Now, as you can see, my drill is a, a tiny bit weak, but it just took me a couple tries to get it. And once it went through, everything was a piece of cake from there. As you can, as you can see, a nice clean cut hole. So I did have to smooth it out a little bit just to ensure that the bulkhead fitting can slide through the hole with ease. Uh, it did have some little shards of plastic still left over uh, from initially making the hole. So now we have the bulkhead fitting here. And this is the string that we'll use. And we'll put that through the bulkhead fitting. All right, so this is where it gets fun. So you drop your string inside that closed topped end where you'll insert your water. And through the bottom hole you cut, you'll go ahead and reach for the string there, as you see. Once you do that, just drop your bulkhead fitting in. It should just drop right through. Line it up with the hole. And just as this, it should be able to pull through it just as easy as that.
So you get your, your PVC nut there and tighten it onto that bulkhead male fitting. And once you do, just tighten it as much as you can. And you can also use grip pliers if you would like. Uh, don't, I would suggest not to tighten it so uh, tight where it can possibly crack the plastic. But a lot of people do use the brass uh, fittings as well. and the bulkhead fitting is secured and installed. Next, we're gonna take our three quarter adapter and we're gonna attach that to that bulkhead fitting. This is going to allow us to attach our three quarter inch ball pipe valve to the plastic drum, where there and after it becomes our water container. And there you go, guys. And there you have it. How to turn a regular plastic drum into a water container. I hope this helps you out. If so, drop a comment down below.